Hello, it's Blake Tucker, aka Dr. Inkwell. I don't want you to drink more, I want you to drink well. I wanted to give you a quick note about rum. Rum comes in a lot of different flavors and a lot of different styles. That's because, of course, that rum is grown in largely equatorial areas, really warm areas where sugarcane can grow. That means, of course, there are a lot of different countries that sugarcane grows in, and so nobody's ever really laid down the laws to what rum is. Rum is made from sugarcane and its byproducts, so it might be just sugarcane juice, in the, as in the case with rum agricole, or it might be just molasses or actual sugar crystals. It could be made from lots of different things, as long as it's made from sugar. There's no rule, though, so navigating this category can be really difficult. The one thing you can rely on, though, is that rum agricole, especially um, rum agricole made in Martinique or uh, another French territory, is going to have that really grassy note because it is made just from sugarcane juice. Now, there are lots of spiced rums out there on the marketplace, things like Captain Morgan and uh, the Kraken rum. Those are interesting. They're blends of flavors. Sometimes they're flavorings. Um, there's you know, lots of colorings in this category to, to give things the right feel. Sometimes bourbon barrels are used to age. It's kind of an unregulated area, and so you never know what's in it. However, I do have some recommendations for you. The Plantation Pineapple Rum has got a really wonderful pineapple flavor. It's very authentic. Um, I think they actually do use pineapples to create this. Plantation is a nice brand because it's a partnership between distillers and bartenders. The classic daiquiri made with this pineapple rum is also delicious in a completely different kind of way. Batavia Arak is an Indonesian spiced rum, so this is a much more exotic flavor. It's almost like curry in your rum. Uh, it's not quite as savory as that, but it has that quality. So Batavia Arak is an interesting choice. It makes lots of drinks a little different. Blackstrap, especially this Cruzon Blackstrap rum. Blackstrap rum is made from the muckiest muck at the bottom of the pit where they make sugar. So this has got the most sort of dark, rich, really, really caramel, sugar-forward kind of flavors. Um, this can be really fun in a rum and coke, um, but it is not appropriate for something like a daiquiri where you're mixing it with a lighter thing like lime juice. Um, so know that, you know, Blackstrap is a different thing. There are funky rums out on the marketplace, Jamaican rums, things that use a lot of tails, a lot of back end of the distilling process to give it weird flavors. And Smith & Cross is very strange, but when you add just a little bit in a drink, especially when you're mixing rums together in a tiki style drink, Smith & Cross elevates things because this funny little funky element just adds this wonder to your drink. So have Smith & Cross in your portfolio as a great addition. And then of course we have aged rums. Aged rums are appropriate for old-fashioned for just sipping on their own. I did do an old-fashioned recipe video with this Panama Pacific 23. Aged rums are very different from everything else here, right? Because they're meant to be sipped. They're meant to be quality spirits that are adored on their own. So know that when you enter a rum marketplace, when you're looking at rums, think about what your application is. Are you gonna make like a clean and fresh cocktail that is very simple in flavor, like a rum agricole? Are you looking to make a punch and you wanna have a lot of different flavors? Maybe you wanna combine blackstrap with some Indonesian rum with some funk. Those are great for punches. Uh, maybe you want a flavored rum to throw a wrench into a drink that you normally put rum in. That's super fun. Or maybe you're just looking for something to sip and respect on its own. Think about that when you enter the run marketplace. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and YouTube. Also, I'm Beverage Director for Taste Catering, and we've created Hospitality Helps, providing meals to families and people in need during the pandemic. Please check it out and donate if you can. We really appreciate it if you can. Thank you so much. See you next time.